So I'm excited to talk about this ECOG Akron E1910 um, trial. Um, can you just, just give me an overview of the trial? I, I'm really interested in understanding the rationale um, and behind the trial and, and everything like that. How did, how did this come about? Well, we've known for some time that uh, we're reaching the limit of for what we can achieve with chemotherapy. Trying to increase the doses of chemotherapy uh, leads to more side effects, and we're not getting as much benefit. At the same time, uh, immunotherapy was coming to the fore, and there were several immunotherapy agents that uh, we were starting to see become available. And one of these is blinatumumab. And blinatumumab is a bispecific T-cell engaging molecule. And by that, it means that mm -hmm. it combines the active area of an antibody that reacts against a protein on leukemia cells called CD19. And it's linked to an active part of an antibody that, that is called CD3 that, that reacts against CD3 on uh, T-cells. T-cells are thymocytes. They're a form of a lymphocyte, a part of our immune system. So blinatumumab brings a T-cell in close proximity to a leukemia cell and kills it. And it was found to be effective in patients where their leukemia had come back, where they'd relapsed. And then we also found that it was uh, active in patients that were MRD positive. So they went through chemotherapy. They went to what we call a regular remission. Uh, but we could still find evidence of leukemia. So we said, well, there are patients that become MRD negative do very do overall pretty well with chemotherapy, but we know their leukemia can still come back. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to see if blinatumumab could lessen the risk of, of, of leukemia coming back in the MRD negative patients. And so what we did was we enrolled 488 patients. We gave them uh, chemotherapy to get them into remission. And then if we found that they were MRD negative at that point, we randomized them to get uh, four cycles. And, and blinatumumab is uh, given by a continuous infusion for a month at a time. So that's one cycle. So we gave them four cycles of blinatumumab plus the, also a conventional consolidation chemotherapy where we're consolidating their remission. And the control group got that same four cycles of chemotherapy. And so we compared the outcomes of those two groups. And we found that um, at about three years, uh, the survival was much better for the patients who got blinatumab plus chemotherapy. It was 85% versus 68% for the patients that got uh, chemotherapy. So we found that adding the blinatumumab, which is easier for patients to tolerate, uh, definitely helped people do better. 